Item number SCP-3725, Object Class Euclid, Security Level 2. Special Containment Procedures SCP-3725 is to be contained in the Standard Humanoid Containment Chamber. SCP-3725 is to be given access to a composition notebook, writing utensils, a laptop with limited internet access, and books on the development of story and narrative ideas. Personnel interacting with SCP-3725 are to encourage story concepts thought of by it. SCP-3725-1 instances are to be incinerated upon manifestation. SCP-3725-2 is contained within the former apartment of SCP-3725. Attempts to access this apartment unauthorized are to be halted. Professional Site-3725 has been constructed on Disappointment Island. Civilians attempting to access the island are to be deterred. No further works of SCP-3725 are to be published in any form or demographic. Description SCP-3725 is a 34-year-old amateur writer named Millard Carlton. At random intervals of time, SCP-3725-1 instances will spontaneously manifest within SCP-3725's left auditory canal. Note, SCP-3725's left ear shows abnormal elasticity and durability, causing this to only leave minimal damage. SCP-3725-1 are sentient light bulbs attached to a tripedal base connected to various springs and wires. SCP-3725-1 instances manifest in varying levels of complexity, with exact appearance differing between instances. The legs and springs of SCP-3725-1 are capable of rudimentary movement and will exhibit behavior similar to that of crustaceans once removed from SCP-3725's ear. After the manifestation of an SCP-3725-1 instance, SCP-3725 will experience temporary symptoms of short-term memory loss. Despite not possessing a power source, the light bulb present on instances of SCP-3725-1 will flicker intermediately. This flickering is a repeating Morse code transmission that relays unfinished story concepts of varying genres. The complexity and completion of these concepts appears to directly correlate to the complexity of the SCP-3725-1 instance. SCP-3725-2 is a train bin permanently affixed to the corner of SCP-3725's former bedroom filled with copious amounts of crumpled paper. SCP-3725-1 instances placed inside SCP-3725-2 will begin to filter to its bomb, at which point the SCP-3725-1 instance will spontaneously transport to Disappointment Island, an island in the Auckland Islands archipelago south of New Zealand. Approximately 70 update. 50 instances of SCP-3725-1 are currently present on Disappointment Island. These instances have constructed a rude theatre stage out of nearby materials in the west shore of the island. Groups of SCP-3725-1 will occasionally perform plays similar in narrative as those transmitted via their light bulbs atop the stage. Using sticks and foliage as rudimentary props. Other groups of SCP-3725-1 appear to watch these performances and will periodically strike parts of their bodies together to stimulate clapping. Addendum On March 30th, 1976, in order to improve SCP-3725's morale, a full novel written by SCP-3725, note, this novel was in production several months before SCP-3725's containment and follows a group of sailors lost in the waters of Oceania on a voyage to Hawaii. It was privately published and placed within various Foundation facilities. Shortly after, 
SCP-2725-1 present on Disappointment Island attempted to forcibly enter Professional Site-3725 due to the small size of SCP-3725-1. These attempts were not successful. Several other instances began to enter the ocean surrounding Disappointment Island in a presumed attempt to reach Site-275 on mainland New Zealand. These instances are believed to have been terminated by weather conditions and consumption by water fauna. One instance was then allowed access into professional site 3725, during which it climbed a bookshelf and attempted to destroy an on-site copy of SCP-3725's novel with little success. Instance was then captured with a mason jar and removed from the premises. The novel was quickly removed from Foundation facilities shortly after, and abnormal behavior in SCP-3725-1 instances ceased.